Hey guys, Ryan here, and in the galaxy far, far away, you may have heard that Ryan Johnson is taking part of a brand new trilogy that has nothing to do with the Skywalker saga. What? In fact, it was going to be set in a different galaxy altogether. So what does that mean? No First Order, no Yoda, no Chewie, heck, maybe even no Jedi. We were getting a fresh look at the franchise that has been going on since the 70s. The first of this new universe was some of the added elements in The Last Jedi. Stuff like Canto Bite, Broom Boy, Force Projection. The recipe was being prepped to get the new formula into the oven. But that was before Star Wars The Last Jedi came out, and a billion fans showed up the Lucas Ranch like an angry mob with pitchforks and torches, claiming that this new breed of Star Wars movie making was not their Star Wars. And that changed everything at Lucasfilm. They announced new filmmakers like the guys from Game of Thrones and Jon Favreau making new Star Wars films and new TV series. And there was no mention of this new trilogy from Ryan Johnson. And while that's not really confirmation, let's look at other rumors that we have in front of us so we can jump to these conclusions. Josh Trank, you may remember the director of Chronicle was beginning to do big things. Then he sends out this poorly timed tweet. Fantastic Four. <coughs> Sorry, and loses everything. While rumor has it he was making a Boba Fett movie, all traces of that particular film have been torn from the pages of the Lucas archives. How about Chris Miller and Phil Lord? These guys are known for comedies like 21 Jump Street and The Lego Movie. And the second that Lucasfilm gets word of them ad-libbing in a Star Wars movie, something that they are known for doing, they get the famed Kennedy boot from the Star Wars family. Colin Trevorrow was, how do you say the name? Trevorrow, Trevorrow, whatever, was directing episode nine. Well, until he wasn't. Rumor has it that his head was getting too big. And uh, he's a director. Shouldn't his ego be through the roof? He has to lead a team of thousands. Also, it's a Star Wars movie. My head would be massive. So what's my point? Well, I'm coming out first and saying that Ryan Johnson won't be directing and won't have much to do with anything other than being a creative consultant with this new trilogy. And while I may have loved The Last Jedi, thousands, even millions, didn't. There's a petition to get him off the new trilogy. Hell, there are even petitions to get the movie stricken from canon in general. And that doesn't bode well for him. I can hear some of you saying, surely that can't be enough for him to get the boot. Well, it was for these other guys. One guy just sent out a tweet, and then these other guys just added a few jokes. Do you need more? Well, we have a movie that hasn't even done well as it should. In fact, it's earned $700 million less than The Force Awakens. And now you know you're thinking, yeah, The Force Awakens had this huge fan back behind it. But these announcements from the movie hitting the DVD shelf should have seen more announcements from this movie coming out. But there hasn't been. Where's the announcements? Where's the talk of Ryan Johnson directing these movies? You've heard it at first. Ryan Johnson won't be making the new trilogy. And if you think I'm right, hit the subscribe button. But if you think I'm wrong, well, shit. Let's come up with something crazy in the comments that doesn't involve death, and I will do it. Moody run. Maybe not that. But until the next time and in the next video, I'll see you nerds at the movies. Peace out, Ryan Johnson's not directing this shit, I'm telling you! Suck my Ryan Johnson, pow!